Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to another video here on my channel and today is going to be a quick update video which I am begrudgingly making because I really shouldn't have to make this um, but unfortunately the situation in regards to me uploading my final video of the season is up in the air a little bit to be honest because I have had severe technical difficulties to contend with over the last couple of days, to say the least. Um, I've edited the video three and four times, trying to get it down to a condensed length, and unfortunately there have been some issues with the storage on my phone, which is what I use to record and edit my videos. And I don't know why, but it just wouldn't let me save the video. It is a real shame because at the end of the day I know that I do tend to get a lot more views than the number of subscribers that I have and time is of the essence, time is money in terms of YouTube. Obviously the quicker you get videos up in regards to a topic that people want to hear about the more views you're going to get and that was something that I always strove to achieve. I was consistently one of the first few Leeds United YouTubers to get videos up maybe three hours or so after the game's finished and I wanted to do something special for the last video of the season in regards to match reactions and I mean it was almost like a mini documentary because I had three sections in it. The first section was essentially my live reaction to Leeds United winning the league, becoming champions and that was quite a nice reaction. I had a bit of banter back and forth with my dad and that was really enjoyable. And then at that point I did my match reaction slash analysis of the Charlton game and that massively stepped up in quality to my previous match reactions because I included clips from the game etc. And that's something that I've taken on board. I've had criticism from a few people and that's going to be something that I will be doing next season, be it in home games or away game vlogs. However, the main part of the video, which was quite special, was my live reaction to us lifting the title. And I integrated the actual footage from the Sky Sports broadcast into the vlog live. So... There was my reaction on one side of the screen and the Sky Sports broadcast on the other side and it was identical in terms of matched up in time. It worked really well interlinked. Now, what I can try and do is split the video into the three parts that I have just mentioned and upload them individually. There will probably be five minutes each, which is the regular size of my match reaction. So essentially it's just three extra videos for you. Or I could try and find a way to get the full mini documentary. I'm at a loss for words in terms of what I can do now. The decision is in your hands um, and I want to do what is best for you because essentially you're going to see the same content. It's just going to be broken up and essentially not a special. But until my next video, I will see you guys when I see you guys. I love you all so much. Stay safe and peace.